Hello friends and fans of EVGA, and today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit more of a thought experiment, because um, I'm curious to see if you can use the fan header on an FTW3 RTX card and the Type-C connector on the back to power a CLC. Now, we don't really recommend doing this configuration, it's mostly just to see if it's even possible. But uh, I want to see if we can get this thing running and in flow control, being powered entirely by this card. Now, you may not be aware, aware that on the back of every RTX card, there is now a Type-C connector. This is meant as like a next generation connector for VR headsets, um, but for whatever reason, um, NVIDIA decided to also include USB functionality, and there are USB drivers in the latest uh, driver version. You'll see USB drivers if you do a custom install. Um, so we do know, because we tested this, that you can read files and information through that Type-C connector. So we have a Type-C to Type-A adapter. Um, we have a cable, which will do type A USB to uh, micro B, I believe this one is, or mini B, uh, and then that's what connects to the CLC for flow control, and then to power the CLC, you need to have a 3-pin fan header, which is what is on the front of this RTX card. So, um, let's see if this works. I really, absolutely do not know if this will work correctly. It should. There's no reason why it shouldn't work, um, but let's try it. Uh, while we don't recommend actually doing this under any circumstance, we would even less recommend doing it while the system is running. At least make sure the system is off. Alright, so the system has uh, USB and it should have power. Let's go ahead and start it up. Alright, I felt the pump uh, spin for a second and then stop. That's okay because we need to go into Precision X1 to actually tell it to start. All right, so now we are up in Windows. Precision X1 is open. Uh, this is technically fan four. So let's unlink these. I don't need these fans running at 100%, but you do need a CLC running at 100%. All right. Only one of the two fans came on. That's a little odd. Nope. I think this one just has a bad connection. Now the fans are intermittently working. I actually don't think it's because of our configuration. I think there's just something wrong with the connector on that one. Um, but uh, there we go. We're in flow control and it is showing pump speed. So in theory, let's see, I should be able to change the color or turn the LED off, turn it on, do the rainbow. That's what it's doing right now. Uh, so there you go. Um, this system is technically now running two CLCs. Um, the other CLC is not connected to flow control because flow control is really only meant for one CLC. Um, though I guess we could always try connecting both of them and see what happens. Um, but there you go. If you have an RTX FTW3 card, you can in fact uh, run the CLC by using the USB uh, by using the USB adapter to the Type C and plugging the pump into the very front leading edge of the card that has that PWM fan header. And so long as it's set to 100%, um, the CLC operates just fine. So this has been a fun thought experiment, not a very serious video, um, but we want to try some more experimental stuff because we do get some interesting questions from uh, customers out there. Um, so we hope you enjoyed this video. Join us, join us for some future EVGA videos and some interesting EVGA experiments. How we roll, man. So we rock. So we win. So we roll.